Hey guys, Dream Authentic Excellence. This video is about uh, the following topic. It's actually a belief. Everyone has to work. Well, I'm going to dissect that this belief is not true and what's the effect of uh, having this belief in your, in your system, in your mindset. First of all, there are examples uh, where people are not working. Some good examples are people who have worked a lot of years and made it to the point where they are financially free. So these people uh, worked for some years, are now financially free uh, and by just having one person like this it already disqualifies this generalizing belief that everyone has to work. We live in a reality, we live in a world where it is possible to work for some years to get to a certain status where you're either a millionaire or a billionaire um, you can put your money in uh, certain ways where you can create uh, interest and if you can live from your interest then you are already uh, financially free that's simply the, the, the thing if you have that amount of money um, that generates you a certain X amount of interest per year and also per month and if that X amount interest per month is more than what you spend in that month you're financially free I know people who are at this status so just having the belief already everyone has to work everyone must work it's already disqualified. I know an example where it is not true. So this belief simply is, is a lie. It's, it's not a true belief. Especially not in this day and age where we live in now with all these, um, for example, 13, no, seven year old uh, people who are already billionaires, of millionaires on, on YouTube channels. You know, little kids, they have their YouTube channel and they are making millions. This is the reality where we live in. Of course, it's not for everyone. And of course, people who are born in poor countries, they need, they need to work. It's not for everyone. Eh? But this is about a belief, guys. And why am, I, why am I making a video about this belief? It's super important because if you operate from a mindset and you think, okay, everyone has to work, so that means that I also must work, okay, and people work to get money, that means that I also must find and must go do something to make money. So this is a, it's coming from scarcity. It's a scarcity mindset belief. And it aims to, to get you to think about doing something to get money. This is a totally different approach to filling in your lifetime and purpose and fulfillment instead of uh, approaching it the other way for example what do I like to do what am what do I love doing what are the things that make me lose time if you approach life in this way and work the area of work I mean <laughs> the whole work word is not even in this in this question then you can move towards doing something that you love if it's either making music or um, helping people in other ways then you can over time see that these are also ways to provide in uh, in a living and the funny thing is guys that if you if you do the work but you approach it from this angle these are the people that really attract lots of wealth and lots of success and why there are many reasons um, but one is if they do something that they love that gives them energy um, energy and happiness and fulfillment their days are not so tiring so that means that if they work let's say 10 hours on a day 
they can feel more energized than the people who have just a job and work six hours and get drained already after one hour of work. So in terms of energy level, that's a huge difference because they love their job. The second thing with this is that if they are in, if they have this high energy, they show up from day to day in the world in a different way. They show up energized, they show up enthusiastic, they show up excited, and this draws people in. So you can also see this as a law of attraction. They are in an energized, energetic state. Of course, they attract people who recognize that smile and see that brightness in their eyes and like, hey, uh, who are you? I haven't met you. You know, you look, you look great. Uh, what are you doing? It's, um, it's a dynamic that's being created. And this is a ripple effect, guys. So that's important. Also, this channel is about, this is not about too much about finances and, and work and how to organize your work and all these kind of things, but it's about potential. Authentic excellence. This is about that excellence and authenticity. So it's a, it's a topic I must talk about, right? Um, and I thought about this, of course, also. So the point I'm making here is that if you have the belief everyone must work, it's a very limiting belief. It's a heavy belief. It's on the shoulders. Everyone must work. Okay. If, if you ask... 20 people on the streets, do you like your work? Well, you get 15 and maybe more replies. No, I, I hate my job, I don't like my work. Wish I was retired, blah, blah, blah. That's the associations we have in our society with work. So it's, very, it's a very heavy thing. Everyone must work. So it's, it's not, yeah, it's not an empowering belief. Second, as I said, there are already examples of people who don't have to work. So this whole belief that everyone the everyone in that belief, that's simply not true. Everyone, everyone. No, not everyone. So the everyone in that, in that statement is already can be broken down. The work can be broken down. Because if you approach it in another way, it doesn't feel like work. It feels more as a creation or as a passion or as a, uh, as a life purpose kind of contribute, contributing to the world kind of, kind of thing. So that's important, guys, to uh, to realize what beliefs that you have, what what thoughts are running in your mind, and what's the effect of that, because it works as a self-hypnotizing kind of thing. Um, work, work, work. If I say that word ten times, it's already blah, you know, draining. But if you say, if you use another word like uh, uh, mission or purpose or whatever. It's, it's different. Or your gift, what your gift to the world. That's another interesting word. So the, yeah, this belief, uh, everyone must work. The everyone can be discussed. The work, the word can be discussed. We, we can use another word that feels different. Everyone must uh, contribute something to the world, maybe you can say. But also, guys, in this, in this statement, the must, everyone must work. Even that, you know, we can choose to not work. We can choose to become a, a beggar on the street. Yeah, it's a choice not everyone would like to make, I think. Some do, though, however. Maybe people have a short life, they get ill early on. They uh, don't have a social life, their life becomes very small. They feel worthless. Uh, yeah, they feel like a piece of shit. Maybe they, uh, maybe they can never uh, get back in society. But even also these beggars show that the word, the belief, sorry, everyone must work. It's not true. There is no must in that. These people are the proof of that. That it's not true. So, what, I'm, what my goal is, what my aim is here in this video about talking about this belief is that you eliminate this belief in your mind so that you create possibilities for what you want to do in life. 
this is as I said already it's a limiting belief it sets your focus and, and, and thriving in the wrong direction the wrong approach so if you get rid of this belief and you ask yourself um, what makes me lose time what do I love doing if I had a magic wand and I could be uh, financially free already how would I spend my time and maybe you answer something like oh I want to spend some time at the beach oh here yeah, this kind of stuff here this beach beautiful and a little uh, yeah the little towel there sunglasses some cocktails I love to spend years there well guys just go there I think one two three months you're kind of bored and it's good because you've lived through that and then what I believe that everyone has a need or at least a, kind of like a desire or something that would that loves to be expressed is to contribute to the world and to help others in whatever way it is helping the world can also be making art like this that's also a contribution I believe that if you have enough of your self-fulfillment then then there is an a need to express to to contribute to the world and that's interesting guys what would that be who are you if you are financially free and you do all the things you want to do you want to travel the world you want to lay on that beach you want to go to parties you want to you want to meet famous people whatever you want to do you want to have some cars a certain house certain trips okay you live all through that let's say one year you're going to do everything what's then the thing that you want to contribute to the world that's an interesting question I like to dwell in and I like to make you think about if you approach this whole work thing from that way then you can tap into your potential and then you can become authentic and excellent so that's the content for this video guys hope you enjoy it leave a like like the video because it's important for YouTube that they see that uh, you like this stuff subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if it uh, yeah if you have something to say about this topic all right guys see you in the next one